All right, guys, how's it going? Richard Hughes, everyone, everyone and their dog seems to think that Richard Hughes is going to Liverpool to be the next sporting director. He's a pal of Michael Edwards. Does that mean it's Edwards Hughes coming in? A possibility. Obviously, obviously, it's a possibility, right? This is yeah, going to be an option that the, the ownership can take, right? Uh, the minute he announced, you know, well, the minute his club announced that he was going to leave at the end of the season, uh, that set people thinking, that's it, he's off to Liverpool. I was not one of those people. I wasn't one of those people. Uh, one reason that springs to mind is, um, you know, Liverpool want a sporting director in place this month, March, uh, and we're supposed to get that. Uh, announcement this month, but things can change, all right? So, you know, maybe they've gone, no, we'll have to wait till summer, whatever. I, I don't know. That's that's the one thing that makes me doubt it. And also, I think there's a lot of chatter and suggestions that he could go to Newcastle. All speculation, but very short video, I think. Uh, I, I don't think it's as obvious as some people think. Uh, yeah, is that, I don't think I can, I don't think I can add any more to that. Uh, oh, well, uh, as, as up to yesterday, uh, the latest chatter coming out of Anfield was that Liverpool had as many as six options for that position. Whether you believe that or not, or not I'll, I'll leave that with you. Um, we've discussed probably four or five names on here. Uh, there are others that I could discuss, but why, what's the point of discussing them? Like I would be just saying to you, oh, this is the sporting director's that could get the job. I, I can't give you any uh, any intel on that at the moment, unfortunately, um, because I do think that the Michael Edwards situation affects everything. I really do. And this is the problem. Well, is it a problem or is it a good thing to have for the owners? Because Michael Edwards, if he is in a more superior role of running the club on a day-to-day -day basis, he will have his idea of his own sporting director, and that could be Richard Hughes, who is a pal. I don't know if he's a pal just within a networking football sense, business from from you know working and having contact, or whether he's a pal away uh, from football outside the game. Um, there are suggestions of uh, you know well not I don't know if it'd be right to say suggestions. It was only Stephen Manaman I saw mentioning it, but Stephen Manaman is close to Edwards and uh, Julian Ward, and he was like you know wouldn't it be good to get them back? And he sounded like he was. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say hinting, but alluding that maybe that you know that that is a possibility for the owners. Because let's be honest, if you're the owners, you might say, let's let, let's just let's put yourself in the position of the owners, right? Michael Edwards, we'd love you to come back, right? In a higher capacity, maybe if if that was the case, who would be the sporting director? Well, there's my mate, isn't there, Richard? You, all right? What about Julian Ward? Well, Jules might be up for it. You know, so they've got all these different things. I, I, I don't envy the owners at the moment. I really don't. Um, but the silence around it all, I think, is fucking great. Maybe you don't. Yeah, it's frustrating from a fan's point of view. But I think it's great. You know, all the other clubs, and we've said this about the managerial situation, Bayern Munich running the mouse left, right and centre via the media in Germany about Alonso. Very, very loud. No fucking mention of Liverpool. Oh, what, what Liverpool do we know? One fucking knows. Right, same with the sporting director thing. We've got all these other clubs looking for sporting directors and who their preferred people would be. Uh, some, you know, uh, some resignations, but wants to go to Manchester United, for example, but they'd have to do uh, running commentary. But we haven't got a fucking clue regarding Liverpool, which is always a good sign because usually when you hear something, it's because something's going wrong in terms of negotiations or someone's trying to vibe someone out and pressurize people and stuff like that. So as frustrating as it is, guys, take it as a fucking win at the moment. Honestly, honestly, if it changes, you know, like if I think, hang on a minute, it's all going pear-shaped, I'll be the first to tell you. But no one's saying that. Um, but the reason for the video, Richard Hughes, I'm not so sure that he, his, his, he is, I S. Uh, definitely, I'm feel bound at the. At, <laughs> I've got a bad finger. Did you see that? You know about my bad finger, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, don't worry, girls. It's only that one. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, you can't say anything today, can you? Mm. Did I tell you about my trip last week? I haven't, I ain't talked about I don't know. I'll leave it to your imagination. Uh, what was I talking about? Got to be careful, walls have ears. Mm. Walls also have sausages. Do you remember that? Worked there an advert years ago through with walls, sausages, and didn't, 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 didn't used to be a dog on the advert, it used to go sausages. No. Right. What's your favourite sausage? This isn't for the girls, this but might be for the fellas. Well, you don't know today, it could be for anyone, to be honest with you. What's your favourite sausage? That's the most important question. I like Richmond sausages. What you, what, what's your favourite sausage? <laughs> um, that's it. That's it. It's fucking way more important than a sporting director. Because it? Right. it'll define who you are to me. Because I know a lot of you people in the comments because you've been here years with me or your members or whatever, or you come on the live streams, you know what I mean? So, you know, like when they say, don't meet your heroes because you can like then suddenly go off them. Like There might be one of you guys, right, that, that I think he's fucking mint. Right, and then you might put like, uh, I like chipolatas, don't can I be like, fucking want you on my channel, and we want the big ones, don't we, girls? Yeah, all right, I said, big thick sausage bangers, you know, you know what I mean? <coughs> Richard Hughes, some people think he's uh, nailed on for Liverpool. I don't. I think it's we're going into that territory of the various combinations that the owners have to select. And right now, at the time of recording, or certainly up until yesterday, I reckon the owners, if you were to ask them, what's going to be the outcome? I bet they'd go, not sure yet. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. But that's why we're here, to debate amongst ourselves. Uh, I do think that we're just suddenly going to get, boom, breaking news. Uh, oh, I'm going to, do you know what? I'm going to make a video about this uh, uh, in a minute, actually. I don't know what it'll be titled, so much to do. You just have to watch the fucking, all the videos today because they do all follow on to each other, I guess. Um, I have faith in the process at the moment. But anyway, I think you know why I'm making a video about Richard Hughes. I don't think, everyone thinks he's definitely got the job. At the time, even if he's appointed, you know, like later in the week, I just think that the owners have, have taken their time to think about the, the various combinations. And usually we don't do this. Usually it's like the manager leaves uh, and you appoint a new manager. We're in a situation where we need a sporting director, so we've got to look at that. And is he going to work with this manager? Who does the sporting director recommend? And then there might be a new position, or you might have Edwards coming in, Billy, what's he called? Hulk Hogan, Billy Hogan, whatever he's called. He might leave, might, because he's had that change with the FSG position. So he's become fucking CEO of FSG International. And I fucking, the ambassador's got more money than sense, haven't they? Right? So then you've got all these different fucking things and it, you, you, I'd be sat there going, I don't know what to fucking do. I don't know what to, what to what, what do you want me to do? Do you know what I mean? Got to get it right. Got to protect the billions. So you take your time with the decisions. If you appreciate the video, please thumbs up the video. If you want to leave me a comment, please leave a comment. I read every single motherfucking comment all day long. Uh, just think, first thing, if you comment after like say midnight or something like that, when I wake up in the morning and I pull down the notifications on my phone and I see the YouTube, your, your comment could be the first thing I see in the morning. Because you know I, I, I like to see what you've got to say. Uh, if you want to buy me a coffee or a fucking vodka for Saturday night, hooray, hit that super thanks button. Yeah. Read the video description. Get on the mailing list. Follow on uh, social media. Let's connect. Let's be friends. Uh, and let's have a, a good natter. And please be nice to each other in, 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 the, uh, in the discussions, uh, in the comment section, because if you leave a shitty message to someone, if you're abusive to someone, call them names, you will be uh, hidden from the channel. You think we can see all your comments moving forward, but you can't, and it's irreversible. There's some YouTube bug that doesn't let you un undo them or something. I don't know why that is, or certainly on my account. Um, so please just be nice to each other, even if you disagree with each other. And we're not too wishy-washy around these parts, guys, but, you know, we're a bit more grown up. We ain't got time for these fucking idiots. Do you know what I mean? All right, I'll speak to you in a bit. All right.